Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be looking at scraper planes. I have the Lineos and the Veritas and the Stanley, so let's take a look at them side by side to help you make a decision. Stick with me. So first, what is a scraper plane? Well, it's exactly like a card scraper, just in a plane. So if you use a card scraper and say it hurts your hands or, or whatever, these planes really come in handy to prevent tear out. It's also a better option over sanding because the finish on the board looks better versus sanding. I know there's a couple of videos out there that talk about that. Uh, the other place that I like using it is when I'm planing a board that is really prone to tear out. I bust out the scraper plane and use that instead. Um, oh, what's tear out? This. This is tear out. This is when your plane decides to take a chunk of wood versus a very nice fine shaving. So when that happens, you're going to be left with indents like these. So that's a good example. Um, I have a lot of boards that are just like that, that tear out like crazy. And using a card scraper just, it hurts my hands to use for a long time. So the scraper planes really come in handy when you have a big board. Uh, again, a luxury tool, you don't need one, but they are faster than sandpaper and the finish looks better than sandpaper. So if you're thinking about making the decision of getting one, let's check these three out to help you make a decision. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so here they are side by side. We have the Lee Nielsen, the Veritas, and the Stanley. Um, I do want to mention real quick, I have a buddy of mine. His name is Will. He is the owner of Honeybrook Woodworks. Um, he is actually going to be making me a Bacote pointer, so you won't see this flat piece anymore. It'll be pointed. So I'll put a link down below um, for his information because he makes all kinds of marking knives and plain screwdrivers and winding sticks and mallets and marking gauges, and he does a phenomenal job. Um, he was actually just in the popular woodworking magazine. So I'll put a link for his information down below. But here we go. So we have the Lee Nielsen, the Veritas, and the Stanley. So price-wise, the Lee Nielsen is $295, but it is currently out of stock. The ones that I've been seeing on eBay go for about $400. Now, if Lee Nielsen keeps up with their trend, so right now this is $295 plus tax and shipping, out of stock. Once things come in stock with Lee Nielsen, they typically bump up the price. So I can easily see this plane becoming $350 plus tax and shipping next time it's in stock. Veritas. It's 209. They do free shipping. Anything over, I believe it's 40 bucks. Uh, so pretty much 209 plus tax out the door. Those are currently in stock. I haven't noticed Veritas raising prices when things are out of stock and come back in stock because you can pre-order from them. You cannot pre-order from Lee Nielsen. As soon as something comes in stock, it's like a a battle to the death of who's going to get them because they do them in limited batches. Um, and then that's when you find people buying them and selling them on eBay for a ridiculous amount of prices because maybe they were able to buy two or, or they're just buying it to make money on it. So that's something to keep in mind when it comes to these two here. Stanley, you can pretty much find them all the time. Uh, the price tends to go all over the place. So my range is 100 to 250. So it depends on how good a shape this is in. Um, this one right here, I would say this one would probably be about 200, maybe 225 because it is complete. It's in good shape. It's got a really cool knob. I mean, that knob is just really cool. So that alone, the tote's in good shape, no cracks or anything like that. So that's when it comes to Stanley. Their prices are gonna be different depending on how it looks, what's broken, if it has the card included. The next thing that I want to talk about is the iron thicknesses. So I think you can see, well, maybe. Thicker, thinner, thinnest. So the Lee Nielsen comes in at 1 8th, the Veritas comes in at 1 16th, and the Stanley is actually under 1 16th. Now, Lee Nielsen only sells the 1 8th blade. Veritas sells the 1 16th and a 1 8th blade. Stanley, they don't sell them anymore. <laughs> what a lot of people tend to do is they tend to take saw blades like regular hand saw blades, cut them up and turn them into scraper blades if they don't have one available for the plane or they bought it without it or it's messed up or whatever. So the idea behind the thicker and the thinner iron, um, I can't talk too much about this because I have not tried the Veritas 1 8 iron. Uh, that iron goes for twenty eight fifty, by the way, too. But from trying the Lee Nielsen thicker iron to the Stanley thinner, excuse me, the Veritas thinner iron, they pretty much work the same. It's going to come down to your preference. Um, the thinner iron, I believe, would be more versatile because it's more like a card scraper where you can get that 
like bow in it, the camber in the iron to create a deeper cut where these ones, they're not going to flex at all. So I do plan on getting the, this isn't mine, I borrowed it. I do plan on getting the Veritas scraper plane and getting the thicker blade for it. So I think that would be a good video on its own, the thin blade versus the thick blade, but I can't really dive into that too much right now. So I apologize. So let's continue with the statistics here. So the Lee Nielsen, again, this has a thicker iron, so got to factor that into weight. The Lee Nielsen comes in at four pounds, two ounces. The Veritas with the thin blade comes in at four pounds, two ounces. The Stanley comes in at three pounds, nine ounces. Now this could change over the different types and styles. Now the one thing I do want to mention about the weight, the Veritas is a very well balanced. I have never handled a plane that had a balance like this one does because the balance is all in the middle. So the weight on the outsides, I mean, you can clearly feel the weight is in the middle and they do that with their custom planes too. I have a custom number five on the way, so I'll do a video about that, but it's the, the, the weight is all in the middle. And I, I love that. I can't believe how much of a difference it makes when plating. It's, I don't know how to explain it. You just have to, Take my word for it that the balance is just easier to use. Where the Lee Nielsen, it's kind of across the whole thing. Um, it's not just balanced in the middle. I mean, there is a lot of weight in the middle because of this piece, but I feel it throughout. Um, again, I, I, I don't know how to explain that. The Stanley, kind of the same thing. It's balanced all the way throughout. I don't feel a ton of weight in the middle like I do on the Veritas. Um, <laughs> that's, that's all I got when it comes to explaining that because I don't know how to show you guys the balance. <laughs> now, when it comes to length, so the Lee Nielsen comes in at nine and a half inches. Now that goes all the way to this back here. Veritas, it's almost 10 inches. If you, it, there's a little bit of this tote, if you can see that right there, there's a little bit. If I include that, it's 10 inches. If I don't include that, it's nine and 15 sixteenths. The Stanley all the way back to this piece again comes in at nine and seven sixteenths. Width-wise, so I'm doing width-wise across the mouth because you can see they all kind of have like this taper to them in the front and the back. So across the mouth, three and five sixteenths. Veritas is three and three quarters. Stanley is three and five eighths. All right, so let's take a look at each one of them and then I'll dive into like their parts and features and stuff like that. So here's the Stanley. Okay, so the first thing that I want to point out, you might have noticed. So when we look at the Veritas, there's an extra screw right there, if you can see that. So when you tighten this down, what it does is it creates that flex in the blade, like a card scraper. So it creates that, it's technically like a bow, a bow in the middle. So you tighten this down and it bows the blade, um, changing how aggressive that cut is. So that's this piece right here. Sorry for the light. When you get to the Stanley, at least on this type, I don't know about other types, but it's not there. When you get to the Lee Nielsen, it's not there because they use a thicker iron. So Veritas right away, because of this screw, it's going to be more versatile because if you don't like the thicker irons and you like thinner irons, you can, and you can use it and you can flex the blade to change how aggressive the cut is. The other thing that's cool about having a thinner blade and tightening that screw down to create that like camber or that bow, your corners don't dig in. Um, when it comes to these two, you have to kind of ease those corners to prevent them from digging in. You also have to make sure that it's super square. With the thinner blades, I find that you don't have to make sure it's super square when you are using the um, bow lot, bow? I don't know the name of this. I probably should have looked it up. <laughs> well, here I can. Ah, it is a, it is the, the blade, blade bow thumb screw. <laughs> I, hey, I was pretty close. I think that's good. <laughs> now, the next thing that I want to point out is where these knobs are. 
So holding this one, you've got space, okay? Now again, if you angle, not again, but if you angle this farther, this might start hitting you, okay? But right now it's good where it's set. Veritas, I have this pretty far forward, but you have lots of space here to where you're not hitting that thumb screw, okay? Now these are all set where I was testing them and having them get shavings. When it comes to the thinner ones, it depends on how thick of a burr you put on it. That, that determines your angle. When it comes to this one, you pretty much just find where it's cutting and leave it there. But for the Lee Nielsen, you're, you're right up against this. So holding it in use, I mean, you have to kind of move your hand away from where that thumb screw is going to be. So that's something to keep in mind. This screw is just, to me, too long. They could have definitely shortened it. You can definitely take a file to it if you want to. But but right there, this, this gets in the way for me when it was in use. Tote styles. So this is the old traditional style tote. This is the Stanley. There's nowhere to put your finger, okay? You know how you normally hand plane, you're supposed to have a finger. I don't, it's a bad habit. I grab the whole thing, but you're supposed to have a finger out. So this one just kind of loops there, I guess, or I guess you could put your pinky along the bottom, but that's the tote for these. So it's a normal plain tote. Same with the Lee Nielsen. Uh, they beefed it up a little bit from the Stanley, but it's still the same thing. You got to put your thumb somewhere or your pinky down along the bottom. Whatever's more comfortable to you. Veritas. I like this because it's a habit for me to, to hold the whole handle and not put a finger against the frog on a normal plane. So I like the Veritas tote. Um, this one's a little bit bigger for my hand. I would prefer a little bit smaller one. I think this is the large. I'm pretty sure you can change these out because they make different styles. But So there's that tote. The next thing that I want to mention is kind of a what if scenario. So for example, what if you drop your plane and a part breaks? Veritas, you can change them out because when you look in here, they're all screws. There's screws holding all these parts together in here too. So I could unscrew those, call, call um, Lee Valley and say, hey, I need a, a cap for the scraper plane. They'll say, okay, you know, here you go. And you can swap it out yourself. The Stanley you cannot, it's peened in. And then this one, I don't even know how you would, maybe it's repainted, but I'm, oh yeah, right there. You can kind of see it's peened in here, peened in here. So if anything breaks on this, you're kind of SOL. Um, same with back here too. There's a peen holding these into place. Lee Nielsen, same thing. It's peened in. So if you drop something, this is all peened. <laughs> all that in there. So if a part breaks, you're going to have to become a mechanic for a little bit. I had every intention of showing you guys these planes in use, but it's it's not fair um, because of the iron thicknesses. The iron thickness makes a huge difference when it comes to scraper planes. For example, the really thin Stanley blade had a lot of chatter and it had like a squeaky like nails on the chalkboard sound. The Veritas, because it's the thinner blade and you do that blade bow thumb screw, it took narrower shavings. Because the Lee Nielsen is a thicker iron and you don't use that blade bow thumb screw, it took wider shavings, but it was also harder to push. So I don't want to show you guys them in action and say, well, I'm going Lee Nielsen because it takes wider shavings, or I'm going Veritas because it's easier to push. That's not, that's not fair. That's, that's not, um, I, I don't think that would lead you guys to a good decision. I think the decision needs to be based off the different features that I showed you guys, um, what your preference is. I personally really like the Veritas because you can get a thin blade and a thick blade and try them out and then whatever your preference is. So like for example, you can buy this plane. It comes with the thin blade and then you can buy the thicker blade. That's only $28.50. So two blades and the plane and it's still cheaper than the Lee Nielsen. Some people like the Lee Nielsen because of the bronze. Um, easier to set up. The Lee Nielsen definitely was easier to set up than the Veritas with the thin iron because with the thin iron, you got to put a burr on it. Um, it's a little bit more challenging to find the angle that this needs to be set at, and then you have to find the right camber for it too. So it does take a little bit longer to set this one up, but it still performed really well. Um, what I want to do is get the thicker iron for the Veritas and show those ones in the same plane. So show you the thicker iron versus the thinner iron. What's the benefit of one over the other? that kind of stuff, and that's when I think it would be fair. So, I again apologize for not showing these in action. 
I just didn't want you guys to base your decision off of how they performed when they are vastly different in the blade thickness. So if you guys follow the channel, you know that I have two different video series. I have the one that looks at Stanley and Lee Nielsen, then another one that looks at Lee Nielsen and Veritas. The same themes that are occurring in those series are following through to these scraper planes as well. So obviously the Lee Nielsen is going to perform better than the Stanley because they beefed it up and made it better. If you do want to get the Stanley, I highly recommend upgrading this iron if there's somebody out there that makes a thicker iron. And then I believe that would take a lot of the performance differences out. Now, when it comes to the Lee Nielsen versus the Veritas, the Veritas just has a lot of features and stuff like that that, in my opinion, are focused on the end user because it's more customizable to what you want. If you want a thin iron, you've got the thin iron and then you can camber the blade. If you want a thicker iron, they give you that option as well. The other thing I really like is if any of these parts break, you can unscrew them and change them out. And then lastly, um, not lastly, but the head knob right here, I really like that it's farther forward so you're not bumping into this screw. I also really enjoy the balance being in the middle. The Lee Nielsen is still a good option. Uh, the balance is not always completely in the middle. It's, it's still a little bit heavy on the outsides, but I really don't like that this is so close in here, that you're, you're running into this and trying to figure out, well, how do I hold the knob with, with this in the way? But they both performed really well. Again, I apologize that I can't show you them side by side, but I hope this helps you guys make a decision. Uh, oh, price-wise. So the Lee Nielsen is $2.95 plus tax and shipping. Again, they will probably up the price whenever it comes back in stock. Right now on eBay, I think they're around $400. The Veritas is $209. If you want to get the extra iron for it, that's $28.50. That's for the thicker one. I do recommend getting both and trying them out and figuring out which one you like. I believe they will both have different applications. Future video on that. And the Stanley, if you're going to go with the Stanley, again, just, just upgrade the iron, get a thicker iron, and you'll be just fine. So, if you have one of these and you like them, let us know down below. If there was a feature that I missed that you wanted to talk about, let us know down below as well. If you have any questions, let us know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good one.